my channel in today's video I am going to be using a couple of new products that have been launched in the drugstore when I say drugstore I mean clicks and discam there is a lot of stuff that has been coming out from brands like they are brands that are on top of things and releasing new stuff like all the time and I'm lucky to be uh, someone who can actually experience products firsthand before they hit stores so um, I do have a couple of things that I'm going to be using in this video to create this makeup look that I have on right now I had a lot of highs that's like for real because you can see with the way my makeup looks and also I'm very honest like when it's not great I will say that it's not great so if you do want to see the new releases that are in stores right now everything that I've used in the video is already in stores and this is not a sponsored video so my views are not biased nothing is biased not that anything is ever biased on this channel so if you do want to watch this video then Keep on watching, stay tuned and see how I managed to create this look. You know, like I wanted to say you guys, you better get used to seeing me starting my tutorials in a duke because I mean in reality who does their makeup wearing their wig? Like I that's so unrealistic. Anyway, because we're trying on new makeup in this video, I'm literally going to be like explaining every single thing that I'm going to be using. And also, I'm going to be telling you my first thoughts with regards to the products because also most of them I haven't tried them and most of them were just recently launched like in in stores. So you guys also need to check them out if you do like uh, the outcome of the makeup. So first off, I'm going to do my brows. I just want to say grab your tea, grab your wine, grab whatever you're going to be drinking because this is going to be a long ass video. So first off, I'm going to set my brows with the Catrice Glow Illusion Loose Powder. So I set my brows before I even fill them in because I realized like when I set them like that, then they do not get oily so i'm just like setting my brows you can literally like do this using um your mattifying moisturizers or you can even use your primer or whatever but i like to use like a translucent powder because then the brows are super light and airy so now I'm taking my Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. I actually used this brow creator before on my Instagram and I absolutely love it. Someone asked me like has my brow routine changed and yeah. It has sort of changed because my brows are not as dark as they used to be before because I've changed the technique when it comes to filling in my brows. I feel <gasps> It just broke so that's one thing that I hate about reclining pencils they break a lot so you need to be like super careful when you use them otherwise they will run out so quick when you like throw away anything that breaks of them so my brow routine is changed slightly I still draw my brows the way I used to draw them before but now I do it like super lightly and with this Revlon pencil I can do that like without trying so hard because also the pencil is so light and the tip of the pencil is very small so that allows you to fill in your brows like so lightly to shape my brows i'm gonna use these two concealers one from revlon color stay and the other one is a studio fix concealer i'm not new to this concealer i've used it before but this one i've used it once but i would like to say that the consistency is the same the coverage is the same the bottles look the same this one is slightly bigger but guys the prices are totally different this is way on the high end side and this one is sort of like a very considerable drugstore price so i'm just gonna shape my brows and i always shape the bottom of my brows first and lastly i do the top because then after my foundation uh, defining my brow after my foundation makes it look more nicer just going ahead and setting my eyelids using the same translucent powder that i used for setting my brows you want to do this for this type of concealer because you don't want it to shift and move it's a full coverage concealer and it will do that if you don't set it and next thing i'm going with the essence good day sydney eyeshadow palette i saw these on michelle's uh, channel 
and I had to try them so I want to try them for the first time you saw that I haven't even used the palette touched it nothing I want to tell you which one I'm gonna be going in first I'm gonna go in first with this shade as my transition shade and just apply that from application I can already tell that the pigment has been improved I don't know if you guys have watched my previous Essence Cosmetics review uh, with regards to their eyeshadows I really say they needed to up their game when it came to their eyeshadows because they were really not that great but I can see with this palette that yes like yes guys there is no fallout Fallout is very minimum, a little bit, but I think also that's because I was really careless with my application. But wow, guys, so soft. Like, oh, like this is really good, you guys. Also, the other bonus is that it comes with a mirror in here. So you can literally do your eyes whilst looking down into the mirror. I would say the matte shades so far, no disappointments fallout not really there at all actually because the textures are very soft so i'm just going in and blending in that warm tone into the bridge of my eyes this is not new on the block it's from switch beauty it is their paint port and i got to discover about this from what what's her name on instagram i don't remember her name but she does like super playful makeup and I saw her using this palette and she used a white to create a cut crease and it came out so beautiful and I've been using white as well from this paint pot to create all my cut creases uh, cut creases and guys has it changed the game for me like they come they come out so good they come out looking better than when I use concealer so I'm just gonna take the white and cut my crease In for my eyelid, I'm gonna go in with this lime green. My first time using a color like that. I'm hoping it comes out looking nice. It's gonna take that and then I'm gonna pick it onto my eyelid. So to create this winged eye I created on the other side, I'm going to use the Essence, the deep eyeliner. Love that it comes in a bottle. So that sort of makes it good for keeping the product. I kind of feel like it's giving me the Wet n Wild Mega Liner vibes, which is good because that's like my favorite drugstore eyeliner. Let me tell you that this feels really thin, however and also it's not very dark I don't know why I'm trying to do my winged eye whilst I'm talking because that's never gonna work it's gonna moisturize my lips they feel super dry this smells so good, it smells like bubblegum I wanna eat it then I'm gonna spray my face with this Essence setting spray it smells soppy then I'm gonna go in back with the Revlon Photo Prep Set and Refresh Mist. This is also one of my favorite setting sprays. It smells like cucumber. <laughs> and it feels like super refreshing on the skin. For foundation, I'm gonna use these two foundations. Firstly, I'm not gonna use this one alone because it's a super mattifying foundation and I do not want to start cracking because my skin is very dry. So I'm gonna go in with one pump from this and then I'm gonna go in with another pump from the Revlon Color Stay combination. And that, the other matte foundation, guys, it's so good. Unfortunately, the shade range is very weak. It's very, oh, very, very, very bad. But I wish they could make more shades from that foundation. You would absolutely love it, you guys, because I'm in love with it. I really am in love with it. And as you can see, this foundation is a full coverage foundation and honestly i don't have anything bad to say about it it 
So now I'm gonna set my highlighter with the same Catrice powder and I have found a trick for setting my face you guys I set it with a very small brush because then it gets onto all the places that I want the setting powder to sit on and also I've also found a trick see what I'm doing right now I am literally like moving my translucent powder all over and I'm like setting it and moving it and blending it into my skin that way when you set your powder like that it looks super nice I love the finish of this powder it gives you like an illuminating finish also it does say wait does it say oh it does say it's a glow radiance setting powder so I'm hoping it's not gonna shift I'm actually gonna do a wear test and see if the powder is gonna shift as the day goes so do you see that it's so soft oh guys <laughs> yes love 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 it love the effect like you will never see me setting my powder again using a sponge I'm so going back as well and setting my brows. I'm gonna contour my face using the Soft Essence Touch Mousse in shade 70. It's very dark and I prefer to use that because it's very light. I don't want my face to look khaki because it's already looking khaki. gonna go back to this palette and I'm gonna take the white as well and apply it in my waterline because white sort of like opens up the eyes I want to open up my eyes because I put a lot of eyeshadow and it does make my eyes look super heavy and smaller so if you want to open up your eyes if you've got smaller eyes use white and black if you want your eyes to be smoked out and if you want also your eyes to look smaller My eyes are so sensitive guys, like yo, I struggle so much with putting eyeliner on myself because I cry. This shade here and mix this together with this one and just apply it as a blush on my cheeks this is my issue with a lot of companies beauty companies they do not know how to make blush for melanin girls it's just too ashy or not the right shade or it just doesn't work so you can see like with the shades in here this if I don't mix it with this, it's not going to work for my skin tone. It's going to be too light. If I don't mix this with this, it's going to be too ashy. So I need to mix the two shades. Then everything else in here, I can't even use it. So that's the worst thing. You know, a lot of compa companies need to learn. Like they need to learn how to make blush for melanin sisters. Like I just want a blush shade that's going to work for me without me trying to manipulate it to mix it with that and that and that. You know to make it work because you don't always have the time to do that even if you can do it the time to do that is not always there so I'm taking that as well around my face just to warm it up so I'm gonna use this signature cosmetics it's actually not a highlighter it's an eyeshadow but I find it to be very soft super soft so I've just opted to use it for highlighter instead because it's really good for that so i'm just taking that and applying it on the tip of my nose
for lips i am going back to the same palette this is the real deal you can literally use it for anything you can use it for your eyeshadow you can use it as an eyeshadow base for your lips for your eyes it's it's the bomb.com so i'm taking the black i know black is a lot but you'll see guys it's gonna work out so i'm taking the black and i'm just applying it right here lining my lips I look like Betty but then I'm gonna take this brown here and apply it in the inside To finish off the look, I'm gonna go with both of the setting sprays and just like spray them all over my face. They are so refreshing. This is still a child and already I do not like the smell because it's giving me like soapy vibes. But like I said, this one is my favorite because I've been using it a lot. So this is the look that I did manage to create with the new makeup products. I had a lot of highs with especially this palette from essence i love love it i think you need to invest your coins in this i love obviously my two foundations those are obviously like favorites because i've been using them and what else did i like <coughs> <coughs> this catrice powder is actually so surprising because it gives you like a very different finish uh, that is not what you usually get from the normal you know translucent powder this gives you like a very different finish which I absolutely love and also this is also nice but it's very thin as well so if you're someone who doesn't like heavy makeup like myself then I would say this would be great for you and as well as what else did I this was a total miss for me the essence deep liner because right now if I'm to show you guys, I wish you could see it. On the camera, it looks black, but actually in real life, my eyeliner is looking so great and it feels so hard, so much that I feel like I can't move my outer corners. Honestly, I think this was a big miss. I wouldn't buy this or recommend for anyone to buy it. And I also really like this pencil. If you're someone who likes feathery brows, if you want to hop onto the train, which you need to, because honey, we're not gonna be seeing super dark eyebrows on the streets. We're gonna look at you, and personally, I feel like I wanna fix it. I'm sorry if that sounds mean, but yes, if you're someone who wants super thin, fluffy, airy breathing brows then you need to get yourself that brow pencil it's paint pot from switch beauty it's amazing you can use it, use it for so many different things like i said in the video so if you guys did like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much keep the family growing we are hitting 30,000 subscribers before June I'm just saying because I'm about to come back and drop content like <laughs> So yes guys subscribe if you're not already subscribed I hope you did like this video don't forget to share it with your family leave your comments in the comment section below I love you guys for watching me today, and I will see you in my next video Bye